Well, hello everyone, I'm back. The new proud American conservative going over in a very quick video today, Bitcoin and gold, which has been very hot topic now all over social media, uh, mainstream news, uh, you name it. So I have a note here I wrote, uh, someone tweeted it. I will, write his I will write his name down below because I don't want to butcher it. So this is his statement uh, when it comes to Bitcoin. Bitcoin works as a store of value until needed. In other words, when fiat currency ends, so does Bitcoin, because as the replacement money, it cannot compete with gold. Number one, too volatile. Number two, uncertain future value for capital investment. And number three, this is a big one, and I'll explain why. Central banks globally led by the Fed have gold to reintroduce as sound money when fiat currency fails. All fiat currencies go to their intrinsic value, which is zero at some point. We don't know how long the dollar has. It can be tomorrow. It can be five years, whatever, right? So when you look at this statement, uh, it, it really makes a lot of sense. That does not mean... Uh, throw your cryptocurrencies, throw your Bitcoin away, uh, none of that. You just want to really look into things a little bit more. And when I go into details now real quick for the next minute, when I go over that number three, okay, central banks globally led by the Fed have gold to reintroduce as sound money when fiat fails. A lot of people missed out huge news last year, and I will also post the link down below so you guys can see it. Uh, central banks led by the Fed put gold as a tier one asset. They hold over $1 trillion worth of gold. What that means, it's basically they're saying gold is equal as cash. Whatever this new uh, currency, uh, digital, um, if the dollar stays the way it is, the bottom line is they're putting gold in tier one asset. Central banks are not going anywhere. That's just the cruel reality. I'm a big fan of cryptocurrencies, by the way, but I'm also not complain. I'm not stupid. Uh, you have to look at all this stuff and how quickly it can turn on you when you see the big numbers on your screen, your digits are going up because you own, let's say, five Bitcoins. You bought them at 5,000 and now it's at 20 and you're making 100K, whatever the case may be, and you are... Uh, you know, paper rich, uh, digital on the screen, digits on the screen rich. You have to understand that this can flip on you very quickly. This is why I like to take profits. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I've been trading Bitcoin for a long time. I found a channel between, I call it a sweet spot between 6 and 10K. And the reason is there was a lot of support for Bitcoin in 6, 7, 8 range. And the resistance was at 10 now it might be different. I might be buying at 10 and selling, let's say, at 14. You just have to wait and see what it does. I just don't want to get caught if um, Bitcoin sells off 50, 60, 70, 80 percent overnight, which is very possible, by the way. And um, when you go back in March, when everything was selling off, if you just um, go back a few months and kind of look, look up yourself these numbers, the Dow Jones Industrial Average sold off 38% in March, okay, which is obviously significant. Bitcoin sold off 50% and gold sold off 20 So, again, look at it from that perspective. Which asset, which area, which uh, sector was the most volatile? Gold held its own, even though right now the price of Bitcoin is way higher. Just want to look at it when things are going bad what is going to hold its own bitcoin can go to fifty thousand if the money printing to infinity doesn't stop fifty thousand dollars may you may not be able to buy a cart full of groceries for because of mass inflation so all of this you got to put into perspective a lot of young people millennials all over the world, they do not understand gold. They laugh at it. They look at it as, as a pet rock, like it's mentioned by so many people, and they don't want anything to do with it, okay? 
while you see older people, I mean, what I mean by older people, we're talking about investors, those who pay attention to finance. They are looking into Bitcoin. They own it. They own Ethereum. They own Chainlink. They own Zcash. They own Monero, whatever. They are looking at every possible option to make moves, to make to make money work for them. So they are looking at cryptocurrencies as a very good alternative as well. While millennials are not, and what I'm saying is for the most part, okay, uh, possibly 98% of millennials do not own a gram of physical gold. While you look at, again, older investors, uh, probably 7 out of 10 are into cryptocurrencies. Do they just hold and not do anything with it? I don't know. Nobody knows. But they are looking into it as, uh, as, a, as a very solid option. Uh, like I said, I like to trade it. I like to own some old coins, see what, what happens. Uh, but from that point on, uh, that's just um, how it is for me. So if this channel comes in, this sweet spot between 10 and 14, let's say 14,000 becomes new support, sorry, new resistance, and the support is around 10, I will be getting in and getting out and using 20, 30% of those profits into real money. So there is place for both. It just depends how you play it. Uh, I believe this is very important because uh, nobody should be just sitting on cash and, and waiting for, you know, job promotion to save more money because you're not getting, uh, you're not getting any yield on your cash sitting. And you definitely cannot get it if you put it in, let's say, 30-year savings like treasury bills. Right now, you're getting less on 30-year yield than the rate of inflation is. The rate of infl inflation is 2%. The 30-year yield on the bonds is less than that. It's like uh, one and a half, one, 180, whatever. It's under 2%. And this is, if 2% rate of inflation is correct, which is not, you all know prices of uh, lumber, healthcare, food, this is way higher than 2%. But even if it is at 2%, you are losing for sure by saving if you are only in cash. Whether that's $5,000, $2,000, $2, $2 you are losing for sure. You are losing your purchasing power. So this is how you got to look at things and, and go from there. Hopefully this uh, video helped you. Uh, it's not easy to talk about this stuff. Um, I went over 10, 15 times to make this video and uh, every time... Uh, you know, you start talking about it, it, it seems like it's confusing. A lot of people do not uh, want to listen anything about this because it's just out of their comfort zone. So you want to try to find it in a way that everybody can understand and hopefully make some moves and uh, make sense out of this nonsense in the crazy environment that we are in. You can basically prosper instead of uh, being a, a victim. So if you find this uh, helpful, like this video, share it, uh, make comments down below. Let me know what you think. And I will leave you off reading this note one more time. Bitcoin works as a store of value until needed. In other words, when fiat currency ends, so does Bitcoin. Because as the replacement money, it cannot compete with gold. Number one, too volatile. Number two, uncertain future value for capital investment. And number three, central banks globally led by the Fed have gold to reintroduce as sound money when fiat currency fails. Take care and God bless you all.